Famcast Media. Bitch. All right, well, we have another musician that's in hot water, but thankfully, this situation ended a lot differently. Good evening demons and demonesses, Kwame Wakan here, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about a band called Thy Art is Murdered. Now, I've never really, you know, talked about them much on my channel before, um, and to be 100% honest, I've only, you know, listened to just a couple of their songs. Um, I don't think I've ever, you know, listened to, you know, a full length or anything like that. I mean, I might have heard songs like maybe playing in the background when I went to, you know, a, a bar or, you know, a club or something like that. But, you know, like I said, never really actually, like, listened to them like that. But, um, after hearing this, I might have to give them a listen, both their old work and their new album, which just came out, I think, a couple days ago. Now, this had popped up on my newsfeed, and the title of the article is, Thy Art is Murder Replaces Frontman on New Album due to a breakdown in his character and judgment. Now, what are they talking about in particular? Well, apparently the frontman of the band posted a Matt Walsh video about a child that doesn't identify with either gender. But the article did a pretty good job describing the situation. Thy Art is Murder has several ties with the frontman Chris C.J. McMahon, Thy Art is Murder has severed ties with their frontman Chris C.J. McMahon due to a breakdown in his character and judgment. McMahon joined the Australian deathcore band back in 2009 after their previous vocalist Brendan Van Ryn quit the previous year. Last Friday, September 22nd, Thy Art is Murder released their sixth studio album Godlike via Human Warfare, marking the group's first full-length release without McMahon. Shortly afterwards, Thy Art is Murder shared a statement on social media to announce the singer's departure. Our new godlike album is available worldwide digitally with an unforeseen chain. Chris McMahon is no longer part of Thy Art is Murder and does not feature on the record, the band wrote. We understand this may come as a surprise, and we want to assure you that this decision was made to preserve the band's integrity and direction. According to Loudwire, McMahon recently faced criticism after he posted anti-trans content on his social media and commented in support of it. He subsequently shared an apology video via Thy Art Is Murder's account. What transpired over the past month was not the cause of this action, but just another symptom of the drawn-out breakdown in his character and judgment, the group said on Friday. The straw that broke the camel's back, if you will. Thy Art Is Murder went on to say the fallout has been immense, adding, We were lobbed with threats to destroy Thy Art Is Murder from the inside if we did not capitulate to various ideology that McMahon holds. Everyone has the right to free speech and to seek their truth. They are free to receive the consequences that come with it. We appreciate your support and respect for our privacy during this challenging time. The group then explained, As we move forward, we are excited to introduce uh, to you a new vocalist who finished re-recording vocals on the new album earlier this week and will be joining us for the godlike European tour with Whitechapel, Fit for an Autopsy and Spite, which kicks off in a few days. Our focus remains on delivering powerful music and unforgettable performances to our dedicated fans. We're grateful for your understanding and continued support as we embark on this new chapter together. McMahon has since commented on his dismissal from the band, claiming that he only found out about it through their online statement. I just woke up and saw the news, he wrote. Yes, this is how I found out. And yes, it's not the whole story. I'll be going live tomorrow at 5pm Sydney, Australia time. Burn everyone to death. Thy Art Is Murder is set to hit the road in the UK next month, with headline shows scheduled for London, Manchester, Birmingham, Glasgow, and Bristol. 
Now, this story kind of reminds me of a similar situation that I reported on a couple years ago about the band Absu, where basically um, the guitarist of that band was kicked out after coming out as transgender. Now, I have to give Thy Art Is Murder credit because, you know, they handled the situation a lot differently uh, compared to Absu. Like, for example, how are you going to kick someone out of, your, out of your band and then continue to use their, you know, their guitar track? Whereas Thy Art Is Murder is like, hey, you know what, we don't want, we don't agree with what you're saying. We don't, we're, you know, we're here, you have bad chemistry with the band. So not only are we going to get rid of you, but we're going to re-record this entire album. So that's kind of similar to the situation that happened with uh, David Ellipson when um, he was fired from Megadeth. And also another similarity, I don't think this is the full story with Die Art is Murder. I think there's a lot more involved that we simply don't know, a lot more personal and private matters. And like they said in the article, this was the straw that broke the camel's back. So, like I said, I, I don't believe they fired him simply because of that one reason. Um, like I said, it must have been, you know, a long thing coming and this just happened to be the thing that, you know, everyone in the band just objected to. And think about it, you know, I think they made the right decision here because, you know, you don't want that type of ideology pinned to your band. You don't want to be seen as, oh, you're the band that's anti-trans or anti-queer or anything like that. And, and let's be honest, you know, do you really think that, you know, a bunch of religious conservatives are listening to Thy Art Is Murder? They pretty much have been, you know, they pretty much have been demonizing rock and heavy metal for decades. So, we, well, like I said, I, I seriously doubt that religious conservatives were listening to this band at all. Now, even though in the article it says that he apologized, uh, and just recently... There was another article saying that he there's another article saying that he retracts his apology and that you know he still sticks by to the things that he said now what was the video that you know mcmahon had posted that you know started this whole outrage anyway well it was a video posted by matt walsh and um the video features you know a girl asking a toddler if they were a boy or a girl the toddler responds and says you know i'm both and the girl was like, okay, you're both. And that's kind of just where it ended. All right, now, something as simple as that triggered just a major reaction from McMahon, who said that they should be burned today. Now, I don't believe that he... Now, do I believe that McMahon really wants to burn these people to death? Absolutely not. Like I said, like I said it's the internet. People say crazy shit on the internet all the time. I do it. You've probably done it. Uh, many other people have done it. It happens. It's the internet. The internet is not real life. Um, but apparently the video had gotten reported from his Instagram account and um, it received a lot of backlash from, you know, fans, you know, trans right supporters, other members of the LGBTQ community to the point where, you know, McMahon had to delete his social media account entirely. Now, he claims that he only did the apology, you know, just to save face for the ban. But, you know, but, you know, he really isn't sincere when it comes to the apology. But let me just take a moment and just say this right here. The fact that McMahon would take somebody like Matt Walsh seriously is disturbing in and of itself. You know, Matt Walsh is the same person that thinks that you should receive the death penalty for smoking marijuana. This is the same person that thinks that people should be put to jail, not for being gay, not for being trans, but also for being asexual. Matt Walsh is like the true definition of a Christian crackpot. You know, this guy is so drunk on Jesus juice that he ran out of things to say about queer people. So now he's going after people that are asexual. So many conservatives are going on and on about CJ McMahon and, cl and trying to paint him out as if he's some sort of victim. He's the one being portrayed as being discriminated and being oppressed and being punched down on. So basically, I want everyone out there that's, you know, anti-LGBT, whether it's anti-gay, anti-trans, anti-asexual, anti-intersex, all of you guys. I, got, I want you guys to read this article and soak it in. And you guys can read it over and over and over again. This guy lost his band because of this. 
you know, if you want to put this in a better context, for, you know, to be, make it more relatable, just imagine if he had said something like this about any other group of people, Jewish people, black people, Hispanic people. And let's say, you know, you're not in a band. Let's say you're working at an office or a restaurant or any other business that serves the public. And you were to have this sort of opinion. I have absolutely zero sympathy for people like this. And to be 100% honest with you guys, I celebrate the fact that this guy got fired from his band. You know, the whole point that I'm trying to make is you shouldn't discriminate against somebody based on, you know, an arbitrary reason or a condition that they simply can't help. A something that they're born with, something that they had no control over. Like, for example, you can't say, oh, well, I don't want you up to be a part of this band because you're a woman. Or I don't want to, you know, have this bass player in my band because he's Chinese and I don't like Chinese people. You know, I, I don't like your gender. I don't like your nationality. I don't not like, you, you know, your, your ethnicity or your background or the fact that you, you're bilingual and speak another language. You know, they keep saying, oh, freedom of speech. This guy's being oppressed. This guy's being silenced. This guy's being canceled. Well, technically, he isn't being canceled because I'm pretty sure there's enough people out there that are willing to work with somebody like Chris McMahon to the point where he could probably uh, start a new band in, within the next 24 hours. You know, maybe he can do, you know, a collaboration with Absu. Maybe he might want to do, you know, release a track with, you know, the rapper Bryson Gray. And, you know, maybe they can all sing songs about how much they hate trans people. You know, that, that's their right. You know, that they, they have freedom of speech. If they want to write songs about, you know, how bigoted they are, then they have that right to do it. And I'm pretty sure there's more than enough crazy religious people out there that are willing to listen to that garbage. But, you know, Chris can't act like he's being discriminated against in this situation because he isn't. Chris McMahon is being justly punished. Chris McMahon is being punished for the actions that he himself did. He's being held accountable. And you know, freedom of speech does not come with freedom without consequences. And believe it or not, despite all the things that you hear online, like I said, like I said early in the video, the internet is not real life. You know, you think all that transphobic and all that anti-gay shit is cool on the internet, but I guarantee you the majority of these people that say that shit online won't dare say that shit in real life. So just so just take exactly what he said, replace the word trans with the word black or replace the word drag queen with the word, you know, J Jewish people replace, you know, the word gay with the word indigenous people, because if you were to discriminate against any other group of people besides trans people, that would be seen as socially unacceptable. And that's the point where we need to be at right now. You know, discrimination and this type of rhetoric against the LGBTQ community should not be socially acceptable. It shouldn't. If somebody is born a certain way and you want to act as if they're second class citizens, that means that you're the bad person. You're the one that's a bigot. You're the one making the band look bad and you should be fired. But, you know, you know, it's, it's a shame that, you know, a talented vocalist like Chris McMahon would fuck up his career over something stupid because apparently to someone like Chris being transphobic is more important than food and water being transphobic is more important than music and to be honest for Chris's sake I hope it was fucking worth it all right you guys that's pretty much all I got to say about this uh you guys stay safe stay metal hail satan and I'll catch you guys on the next episode peace